I've watched the top 100 marketers in the world start planning out their 2024 strategies, and I want to share with you what they and myself I'm going to do to crush 2024. My name is Michael. I run a dog training company and a funnel agency, so I am very interested in marketing trends and staying on top of what's going on in the world, studying the masters so that I can crush it in business and help my clients with their businesses. I want to share with you what those big top marketers and myself plan to do in 2024 and why I've recently changed my thumbnail strategy and maybe why you should start implementing those practices as well. Before we get into my predictions of 2024, there are some marketing rules that we should probably go over just so we're all on the same page, okay? Number one, you have to get to know your customer better than they know themselves, right? If you don't know who you're marketing to and why you're in business, then there's really no point in being in business. You don't have a business. You don't have a marketing strategy. So you have to understand them really, really well. Where do they go to eat? What do they do? How do they feel about certain things? What emotions are they going through? What do they keep, like, what do they think about at night when they can't sleep? You need to be inside their head. Like basically when they see your marketing message, they should go, how do they know that? You ever get that feeling when you're talking to someone and then an ad pops up and it's like, how did they know? Are they listening to me? Like, is it the FBI? Like that's how, that's how in, in their brain you need to be. You need to know them that well. All right, number two, research before you start doing. Every time I have an idea, I get so excited about it. I jump into it, I start doing when really I should do what the top marketers do. This is where they use social media. This is how powerful it can be. If you have an idea, put it out into the world. See if anybody vibes with it. If they give you a thumbs up, cool, then you start doing it. Right? Don't waste your time, money, energy, and resources into doing something that you don't even know is going to work. You have to validate every single idea you have. Have an idea, put it on social media. Hey, would this be interesting? I was thinking of doing this huge promotion, and so I sent it out to my email list and said, hey, would anybody be interested in this? And I got one thumbs up cool, I'm not going to do the promotion, okay? <laughs> it's just not going to work. And so I need to re restructure it, reorganize it, and then put out the promotion again, see if more people vibe with it. Number three, create your marketing strategy and then stick to it for at least three to six months. You got to stick to your marketing strategy for an extended period of time. Otherwise, it's not going to work, right? No matter what the marketing strategy is, if you do it for three days and then give up because, oh, I'm not seeing any results, it's not going to work. It's got to be like three to six months, all right? Number four, build a marketing funnel. You have to help people get from where they are to where you are. Okay, you got to hold their hand and say, hey, this is what I do. Here are some of the features. Here are some of the advantages. Here are some of the benefits. Would you like to do a phone call with me where we can kind of go over your game plan and then work together? Right, you kind of have to walk them through the process. You can't just say, here's all the information. Think about it. They're going to be lost. They're going to be confused. Build a marketing funnel before you start pushing everything out. Once you have that idea validated, then build the marketing funnel. Number five, monitor, measure, and improve. If you're just putting stuff out into the, the world, into the universe, and hoping it comes back to you, it's not going to work. You have to be able to put stuff out, reel it in, and start looking at the numbers. Okay, this was good. This was good. Our conversion rates here, our click-through rates here, our audience retention, whatever it is. We got to know so that we can improve on it. Every single day, I want you to look at those numbers and see what can I do differently today to improve that number just by 1%. That's all I need you to do. So really quick, get to know your audience, research before you start working, create your marketing strategy and stick to it for at least three to six months, depending on the strategy, build a marketing funnel and monitor, measure and improve. Now let's get into our 2024 predictions. What am I seeing these top marketers do? Build your army. Relationships are going to be the real kicker in 2024. Everybody, I mean everybody, is focused on building out an army of people. All right, there's no doubt about it. When it hits the fan, people are going to have other people to lean on. They're not going to rely on their own audiences. They're going to basically get the key from their friends, open up the door, and have this pool of people that they can market to. They're, they're basically, instead of just marketing to one person, they're marketing to thousands of people just because they have one solid relationship. You can also build an affiliate army. More on that in a later video, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Many hands make light work. That's what Mimi Aceta said. My mom said, many hands make light work. The more connections you have, the more pools of people that you can market to and have the opportunity to get in front of, the better your business is going to do, all right? All you need to do is have buddies in these niches. So make friends with reporters, news people, small businesses, people in your niche, whatever it is, you gotta become friends with these people. And I mean close friends to where you could hit them up and say, hey, what's going on in the world? Can I help you with this? You know, I'm doing this promotion. Is there something you want me to promote on your end? How can we work together? I think your audience would really love this. That's what you gotta do. Build an army of people, not just you and your small little team or you by yourself. You gotta have an army of people. Many hands make light work. 
paid advertisement. I know what you're thinking. Michael, we've heard paid advertisements before. I'm sick of Facebook. I'm sick of Google ads. Totally get it. I'm with you. And that's the thing. Google, Facebook, YouTube, those ads are over, man. Like they're still going to work. People still love them. They're still great, cool. But the cost is going up. And so instead of trying to jump on the bandwagon, because people are spending 30 to 50% of their marketing and advertising budgets on paid advertisements on these sites, you want to find the little pockets, the little, the little places on the universe, in the internet, where you can go that people haven't gotten there yet. So TikTok and search engines, different search engines popping up, which more in like a minute, we're going to talk about different search engines. You want to get into those little pockets before they get flooded with the big companies. And you're going to have a lower ad spend because not many people are spending money on those platforms. So you're going to have a lower ad spend. You're going to be able to market differently and you're going to become the master of that ad platform. TikTok's a huge one right now. Jump on TikTok if you're not on TikTok ads. Okay, they have a whole bunch of promotions because they want people there. Less on paid advertisement, more onto the real kicker of 2024, which is bringing back into the real world. I know I said build your army before. This was a little precursor to back in the real world. People have escaped the matrix, right? They've moved on. They've escaped this digital world. People, for whatever reason, are still recovering from that shutdown a couple of years ago. Don't like it, <laughs> okay? People are still recovering from them and they don't wanna be indoors anymore. They don't wanna be in the digital space. They want the real world and this is proven. People are doing this. The first weekend of 2024, I started seeing ads pop up of in-person events. These weren't virtual events. They weren't webinars. They weren't you know, summits or anything. This is in-person events. People have to go fly, buy a hotel room, go to an event, take off for three days, find a nanny for three days. People want this clearly because these big companies are marketing them. The more you can be real in person, even just doing a live video on Facebook is better because you are competing with, and here's, here's the secret. People think AI is gonna be the big thing in 2024 and they're wrong, right? The live videos that you can do, the in person, the real stuff is going to set you apart from the AI. Social media, go live every single day just to communicate, start to build relationships and engagement with your audience. AI can't do that at least not yet. So while it's still good, while, while it's still, while it getting good, you need to be out there talking with and engaging with your audience in a way that AI can't do. And that's by being real in person, meetups, events. You could do webinars, but make it a live webinar, live trainings, anything that you can do live and real and authentic, build the relationships, be real with your people. I've also noticed as a little bonus tip, a kick up in physical things. People are mailing stuff again. And one of the old school tactics was to mail something bulky and weird, right? You could just mail something bulky and weird to somebody. They'd have to open it up because they wanted to know what was inside. And then there you go. Now you got their attention. It could be just a flyer that's been crumpled up. And they're like, what the hell is this? And they open it up and that's your flyer. That could be an easy way to get your face out into the world, into your target audience uh, in a... in a very nuanced type of way. I doubled the click-through rate on my thumbnails just by changing to this one tactic. Now, click-through rate, if you don't know it, is when someone sees the thumbnail, how many people out of a thousand impressions end up clicking on it. And I doubled the amount of people that were clicking on my videos just by changing from a high production quality graphic design thumbnail to a picture with maybe one line of text, maybe, sometimes just an arrow and an image. So if I make this high production quality graphic design video, it's not going to resonate with real people anymore. They want the real stuff. You'll see this across the board in so many different channels. I know it's gonna be a huge thing in the next three to five months. All you gotta do is pay attention to it. Social media, everybody loves social media. Honestly, I can't stand it. I spend way too much time on there and I'm trying to just throw my phone out the window so I don't have to deal with social media. But let's talk about social media and how it's going to be impacted in 2024. Number one, social media is becoming the new search engine. I myself do this all the time. I'll go to TikTok and type in a recipe for cooking something instead of Google, instead of YouTube. I think a lot of people are doing that. So if you're making content that's search relatable, how to do X, the best X, whatever it is, then you're going to want to get on TikTok. You're going to want to get on these platforms that are starting to use it as social media. Even Google is starting to put their results on TikTok and they're putting TikTok videos as the results on Google. Huge. SEO will take over hashtags. Same thing, right? Like hashtags are going to be out. 
but the SEO is gonna be an important part. So if you are good at SEO, awesome. If you're not, start to brush up on it, learn a little bit about it, all right? AI is the new norm, which again means if you can be separated from that, right? You're not gonna be the AI. You're not gonna have a chat bot on Instagram that responds in AI. You're not gonna have AI curated content. You wanna be real. You wanna be as authentic as humanly possible. People are looking for jobs in the creator space because either their job doesn't pay them enough or they don't make enough money in general and they just wanna make more money, okay? People are looking for jobs, affiliate programs, sponsorships, those types of things. And what we mentioned earlier, building your army, reach out to these influencers who have big audiences, share your services with them if it's the right fit within the niche and have them promote your services for you. They're probably gonna do a lot better job, one, because they care about the retention and they care about their audience, so they're going to curate the best stuff for their audience. Number two, they're masters of making content because clearly they're good at it, they have an audience. And number three, people believe other people more than they believe brands, right? That's why testimonials and reviews and stories are always amazing. If you can have an influencer who has an amazing story, you wanna use that as your ads. Okay, all of this kind of ties together. It's amazing marketing in 2024 if you could do this. <clears throat> POV content, point of view content. People want to feel like they're with you. They're your best friend. So they want to be in the real stuff. Don't just make something super high production value. If you can make it less production value or look less productive, uh, if you can make something look less polished, fantastic. I see this all the time. Huge companies who literally just pulled up an iPhone and they filmed in the worst quality possible uh, an ad and slapped it up and it did amazing or a TikTok reel or whatever it is, just slapped it up into the world and it did amazing because people think that it's real, right? Like it's behind the scenes, boss blowing up and yelling at people because they got to get rid of this stuff. That's an amazing urgency. Hey, we have a, a over inventory. We got to get rid of this crap. Would you just post on social media? And you just have the guy standing in the corner filming his face reacting to his boss yelling at him. That is amazing. Everybody should be doing something like that. And finally, old school marketing techniques and tactics. These methods have worked throughout history. Since marketing has been a thing, uh, these have worked, all right? People wanna do business with people. You have to be real. We've talked about that, all right? They will not be easily tricked. And in fact, statistics are proving that people are more skeptical. We used to say that between five and 12 interactions was needed in order for someone to feel comfortable making a buying decision. It's more like 30 times now. So if you're sending out a daily email, they need to be opening those emails for 30 days before they take action on what you're asking them to do, whatever the service that you provide is. So you need to not be everywhere. I don't want to say get everywhere because then people go crazy and they post on all these social platforms and they burn themselves out. I don't want you to be everywhere. What I want you to do is just be frequently in front of your ideal customer. If you're frequently in front of your ideal customer, they recognize you, they see you, they start to build a relationship, they come back time and time again and eventually they'll work with you. If you like today's video, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.